The most valuable cryptocurrency in the world, Bitcoin, reached a remarkable all-time high of over 65,000 US dollars in 2021. However, a massive drop in 2020 has scared investors away. By mid-June, the coin plunged as low as 24,000, dragging most altcoins to the bottom as well. And while many investors seem worried, huge mining companies calmly kept holding self-mined coins instead of getting rid of Bitcoin. That's because the history of Bitcoin has demonstrated that after each crypto winter, there inevitably is a crypto spring, which is followed by a crypto summer that always surprises the markets. When I met you in the summer. And while the main mining whales may have a tough time looking at this year's reports, hodling always pays off for those who are patient. So on today's coin market cap episode, we will take a closer look at the most profitable crypto stocks that may be worth buying despite the fall. But before we dive too deep into their earnings, let's look at some numbers. First of all, how profitable is crypto mining these days? Well, the profitability of mining a cryptocurrency heavily depends on the price of your mining equipment, electricity fees, and multiple other factors, such as the current state of the crypto market, the halving of Bitcoin, etc. As the market is shivering, the earnings from mining activities are now significantly lower. For instance, in May, overall Bitcoin mining revenue slid by more than 20%. It brought in $906 million in revenue, 47% less than in October of 2021, when the market was peaking. So for the first time since August of 2021, mining revenue did not surpass the psychological mark of $1 billion. Meanwhile, in 2021, only Bitcoin miners generated a net revenue of over $15 billion, which represents a staggering 206% year-over-year increase. Another interesting trend is that Ethereum gained more mining revenue than Bitcoin for several consecutive months in 2022. For instance, in May, Ethereum miners earned a total of $969.4 million, almost 7% more than Bitcoin farms. So though the recent crypto carnage heavily affected the miners, the giant mining companies are still profitable. To understand how much they bring to their owners, we need to analyze market caps and earnings reports. How do crypto stocks deal with market plunges? To quickly survey the market situation, we can look at an exchange-traded fund, or an ETF, that traces all major crypto and blockchain companies, including mining stocks. Namely, the Amplify Transformational Data Sharing ETF is traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker Block since early 2018. Currently, Block has 49 holdings, including Visa, MasterCard, and Meta. Mining companies account for 22% of it, with Canan Incorporated on top of the list. But due to the market cap, Block's share price dropped from $62 in November of 2021 to the current price of 20 bucks. Compared to other ETFs in the traditional markets, Block has visibly underperformed in 2021, providing an annual total return of negative 44.2%. Meanwhile, the Spider, an ETF that represents the largest companies from S&P 500, brought an annual total return of 28.5% during the same period. Top crypto mining stocks for 2022. Let's review all the major stocks related to crypto mining, starting from the largest one. Our calculations include share price, its dynamics within a 12 month period, and market capitalization. All calculations are relevant for mid-June of 2022, with the BTC price below $22,000. Marathon Digital Holdings Incorporated, with a share price of around $6.8 and a market cap of around $737 million. Marathon Digital, with the ticker symbol Mara, is a Nevada-based mining company that aims to become America's largest Bitcoin mining facility. The fiscal year of 2021 gave Marathon an enormous increase in revenue. It grew 3,353% year over year to $150.5 million from just $4.4 million in 2020. Moreover, the company reported 3,197 self-mined Bitcoin in 2021, an 846 increase year over year. 
Q1 results published in May of 2022 revealed a 445% boost from a similar quarter in 2021. The company produced a record amount of 1,259 bitcoins. However, the revenue still demonstrated a 14% decline from Q4 when BTC reached its all-time high. And by mid-June, Marathon stock was down over 76% from the previous year. Same with other miners that we'll discuss. Its share price was affected by the steep decline in crypto prices that affect the profitability of mining. However, the company remains optimistic and shares promising forecasts for late 2022. For instance, in addition to its existing fleet, the company expects to switch on 19,000 miners in its facility in West Texas. Riot Blockchain Incorporated, with a share price of around $4.8 and a market cap of around $617 million. Riot Blockchain is a US-based company focused on Bitcoin mining. As per its website, in 2021, Riot invested in 82,500 mining rigs and expects them to be fully installed by early 2023. Riot also saw a remarkable year-over-year -year increase of 1,665%. Its net revenue grew from $12.1 million to $213.2 million. In addition to that, the number of Bitcoin held on the company's balance sheet increased by 353%. During spring of 2022, when the markets were shaky, Riot sold over 700 self-mined BTC, raising over $27 million from those deals. Currently, the mining giant still holds around 6,536 Bitcoin. The company also trimmed its annual hash rate forecast for 2023. Currently, Riot shares traded on NASDAQ are down 86% from where they were in June of 2021. The decline is even more noticeable when compared to mid-fall of 2021, when BTC reached its all-time high. However, despite all the odds, the future of Riot still looks promising. The company recently acquired ESS Metron Designs, known for their production of mining equipment to run Bitcoin facilities and machinery. Another notable investment is the acquisition of the largest Bitcoin mining facility in North America, Winstone US. Canan Incorporated, with a share price of around $3.2 and a market cap of around $609 million. Canan Incorporated is based in China. However, a significant part of its overall profits comes from its overseas business. The company is famous for chip and mining machinery manufacturing. In addition to that, it provides software services to the crypto world. Canan specializes in what's called application-specific integrated circuits, better known as ASICs, and introduced the world's first seven nanometer mining chip in 2018. Though 2022 was not friendly towards crypto from the very beginning, Canan managed to show great results in Q1. According to the report presented to the SEC, its revenue surged 237% to $213.9 million in comparison to Q1 of 2021, largely outpacing the experts' forecasts. Shortly after the earnings were announced, Canan shares traded at NASDAQ under the ticker CAN saw a surge in price. However, though, within a year, CAN shares lost almost 70% of its price, currently trading at $3.3. The company is affected not only by the recent crypto carnage, but by the logistics suspensions caused by COVID lockdowns in China. Hut 8 Mining Corporation, with a share price of around 2.18 Canadian dollars and a market cap of around 380 million Canadian dollars. Toronto-based Hut 8 Mining Incorporation is among the top miners across the world. Its main facilities are allocated in various provinces of Canada, and it mines not only Bitcoin, but Ethereum as well. 2021 brought Hut 8 a record-breaking revenue of 173.8 million Canadian dollars, which represents a 332% growth in comparison to 2020. The company mined 2,786 Bitcoin during that period. In Q1 of 2022, its revenue increased 67% to 53.3 million Canadian dollars compared to the same quarter in 2021. As of May of 2022, the company had 7,078 self-mined Bitcoin in reserve worth 145 million US dollars at the time of recording. Its Ethereum mining unit for that month generated approximately 14% of total production. 
2021 was an important year for HUD 8 as its shares began trading. In Canada, its stock is traded on the Toronto Stock Exchange since 2018. At the time of recording, HUD stock on the TSX lost 57% in 12 months. By 2023, HUD-8 expects to add 167,000 Bitcoin miners to its fleet. Its agreement with data center provider Compute North will allow it to open new mining facilities and significantly increase its hash rate. Bitfarms Limited, with a share price of around 1.85 Canadian dollars and a market cap of around 368 million Canadian dollars. Canadian mining company Bitfarms mines crypto in multiple facilities located in Canada, the US, and Paraguay. In the near future, it plans to add Argentina to its geography. To mine coins, Bitfarm mostly relies on renewable energy, such as hydroelectricity. Same for most companies mentioned on this list, 2021 was a huge success for Bitfarm. Its yearly revenue increased 388%, with the total amount of Bitcoins mined reaching 3000 453. Same as its competitor HUT8, Bitfarms is traded on both the Toronto Stock Exchange and NASDAQ under the ticker BITF. On the Toronto Stock Exchange, its shares dropped almost 65% during the last year. Although the crypto market is still at the bottom, Bitfarm expects to reach its mining target with new investments and facilities in action. Hive Blockchain Technologies Limited, with a share price of around 4 Canadian dollars and a market cap of 328 million Canadian dollars. A third Canada-based company on our list, Hive Computing has an HQ in Vancouver and runs its mining machinery in Canada, US, Iceland, and Sweden. It is mainly mining Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, Hive is also involved in NFT trading following its investment in Network Media Group. It also owns a 4.9% stake in a company called DeFi Technologies. In total, in 2021, Hive managed to produce 4,032 Bitcoin, 41,966 ETH, and 46,209 ETH Classic. The company mainly holds its self-mined Bitcoins and sells ETH and ETH Classic to upgrade chips and buy equipment. The exact amount of revenue was not included in the report. Hive Blockchain Technology became the first publicly traded crypto miner on the Canada Venture Exchange back in 2017 under the ticker Hive. Later, the company went live on NASDAQ as well. Its shares on the Canada Venture Exchange were down 75% in the last 12 months. However, the company's prospects might calm down the investors. Same as HUT8, Hive is cooperating with Compute North to store its miners. Moreover, to deploy its mining facility in Texas, it will purchase additional Intel chips. So, is it time to invest in crypto mining? Well, up until the end of 2021, when crypto prices were peaking, those were good times, the mining stocks were also actively growing. But with Bitcoin below 22,000 and Ethereum hovering around 11,000, it's highly unlikely that the Q2 results of Marathon, Canaan, and other mining giants will surprise the markets. On the contrary, they will scare many traders away for quite a long time. However, buy the dip supporters are extremely vocal during this crypto winter as Bitcoin and altcoins have demonstrated their potential to recover and hit new highs at least two times by now. But it might take a long time for the crypto market to recover. So if you decide to add some shares of mining giants to your portfolio right now, think carefully as you might need to hold on to them for several months before the market gets back to green again. So that's it for today's coin market cap episode. Let us know if you are planning to buy crypto mining stocks in the comments below.